to the White House on this wonderful Friday afternoon. We are so honored to have you here. Um, no further ado, I'd like to introduce Justin Roberts to the stage from the 101st Airborne Division. I think I actually know most of you folks, but those of you don't, I think you're going to get to know me pretty quick. Uh, the film is a, a, a good uh, reference point of getting to know not just me, but I think a lot of the soldiers in this film, and uh, namely their hearts, you know, why they serve and why they do what they do. Uh, but first, I would like to thank, uh, of course, the president uh, for hosting us at his house. I've never had this many people over to see a movie, <laughs> uh, so we are grateful. And then, uh, you know, this is a historic location uh, to show this film. And, uh, but it's also a historical event, what happened over there and the people that it happened with. And so I think this is a perfect setting for us to experience this film and share the story uh, with old friends and new ones. Um, coming home for myself was a difficult transition and I think that's not just myself, I think anybody who goes to war, when you come back, you come back changed, um, and it takes some pretty incredible people to help you process that. And of course, one of the most incredible people in my life is Megan. Where did she go? She has my son. Y'all are actually gonna be witnesses that I said some nice <laughs> stuff about her. Okay, there she is. Um, but she really did help me in that transition, and she also gave me two beautiful children, Gwyneth and Bennett, who's now in Uncle Scott's arms. Uh, but also had amazing in-laws, Mom Gwen and Barry, who have helped me in this transition. Um, but also I received an amazing mentor. Uh, one of the soldiers that I prayed with over on the battlefield was Tim Lau. And uh, whenever he got home to Walter Reed, uh, he let his father know that I prayed over him and he reached out to me on Facebook. And that started a friendship uh, with Mike Lau. Mike, where are you at? And so, this man has been a chaplain to a chaplain. I want to give him a hand. He's put up with me for a number of years, and so I did want to thank you for that. And also one of my good mentors and friends, Rob Allman, uh, who's actually hosting us right now. If I didn't recognize him, he might kick me out. So <laughs> I'm staying at his house. So thank you, sir. Uh, he was actually my regimental chaplain when I was in Germany. Um, these are the people who have supported me, but the people who supported getting this film uh, out to the public, uh, Mr. Brent, you know, who uh, is a producer on this film and helped bring it to bear. And then we had an amazing distribution team from Atlas. Uh, John Aguilero is a Marine, and uh, so he had a passion for this, and his wife, Joan Carter. So I can't thank you guys enough. Can we give them a round? <laughs> Of course, Harmon and Scott, you gentlemen, you put up with me so much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Took the film to another level and then brought it out to the public in an amazing way. I want to thank you guys. <laughs> and I think that we can collectively agree that some of the people who uh, should be highlighted are actually the people who are about to be highlighted in the film. Uh, they're the soldiers that uh, I was able to walk with during this deployment. And uh, here we have Colonel Val, uh, Command, Sergeant, Command Sergeant Major Randy Wright, uh, Staff Sergeant Daniel Byerly, and recently promoted Major Mott. <laughs> yes. So guys, can you raise your hands? <laughs> we also have uh, Gold Star Audrey Schoen here with us. Please give her. This film essentially is just about the lessons that I learned from the soldiers that I served with. Uh, namely that these people who came from every different kind of race, background, and religion were able to come together and fight for something greater than themselves. I think we're in some turbulent times. In this country, we are. There's a lot of divides. Some incredible divides unlike we've ever seen. But something that I've seen, that I witnessed in Afghanistan on those mountaintops, was that these people from all these different kinds of groups, all these types of differences, were able to come together for something greater themselves, not only be willing to fight for each other, 
but some of them would even be willing to die for each other and did. And that's what's truly American. That's the amazing thing that we should be proud of. That once we stop and we pause, there is a reason to truly be proud of this country and who we are and what we stand for and what we fight for. That, guys, is what this film is about. That's the most important lesson that I learned from the soldiers that I served with. And that's what No Greater Love is about. That one thing that is still sacred. And these guys here, these gold stars, and these people who are making these sacrifices, who go unnoticed majority of the time, when we recognize them and we see them for who they truly are and what they truly stand for, it's going to make you proud. And it's going to make you honored. And so, folks, from the bottom of my heart, I sincerely appreciate you coming here. Um, it means a lot to me that you were able to join me for this event. And uh, I'd be remiss if I also didn't thank God for taking me through this process. I'd be a horrible chaplain if I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> With that being said, I also would like to, to thank um, Kevin from Warrior's Journey and Evan Owens from Reboot Recovery. They have powerful ministries that are helping guys who are coming home. Um, and definitely worth checking out. So that's, I wanted to make sure I touched and, and reached everybody and said thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. But without further ado, no greater love.